Hi there! Welcome to the League of Legends Basic Mechanics Tutorials. This is Metal Mind, and today we will be looking at one of the most basic mechanics of the game, movement. As you will be constantly moving throughout the entirety of a game, movement is essentially the most important mechanic that you need to master. Usually assigned to your mouse's right click, the move command simply tells your champion to head toward the exact spot where you clicked. Unlike other games in a series such as Dota 2, there is no turning speed. Therefore, this allows you to change the direction at which you move at a moment's notice. The speed at which you move at is measured in in-game units, which we have no idea how to calculate without a point of reference. Therefore, we will use a popular champion, Teemo, who is a 100 units wide in all future calculations with a symbol T. The starting movement speed of every single champion in the game is 3.2 Teemos per second. Your champion's movement speed can be increased or decreased by items, abilities, summoner spells, your runes, and masteries, as well as in map buffs. The math on how any of this works will be in the description below, and I will also link in annotations to the items, abilities, summoner spells, and runes masteries explanations. Whether you need to reach your lane or an enemy champion as you're attacking them, movement speed is important. For example, as a ranged champion such as Jinx, your movement speed is crucial to your success as ranged champion's main purpose is to continuously deal damage to the enemies any way they can. However, they will not be able to do so if they do not have greater than the movement speed that the end champion possess. In order to have higher movement speed, you need to either buy items that have higher movement speed than your items your enemies possess, or have champions on your team that can continuously boost your speed. Boots, obviously, are the most common items to buy as a ranged carry. As such, boots that give you higher movement speed allow you to continuously attack them in a manner known as kiting. In order to kite effectively, you need to be able to move with your enemy champion and auto-attack in brief pauses while keeping up with them. In order to do so, you need to have even slightly more movement speed than they do. A 1% or 2% increase in your own movement speed can allow such a process to happen. Another reason why higher movement speed is good is the dodging of skill shots or projectiles. Higher speed will give you slightly more leeway when trying to dodge enemy skill shots. This is why sometimes it is a good idea to buy boots of speed as your first item, as the champions you are facing in lane might be completely reliant on skill shots rather than auto attacks. Thank you for watching League of Legends Basic Mechanics tutorials. If you like this video, please leave us a like and uh, subscribe for more videos similar to this one. Leave a comment if you think I uh, there's anything we should change. And see you in the next video. I will be there. Will you? <coughs> Just kidding. Love you, Scout Williams.